This disease is uh, the rare, usually it's one to 100,000. And then we think there is about 4,000 patients in the United States. And uh, the, this disease can mimic myasthenia gravis. But most common symptoms are quite different from myasthenia gravis in that the most common symptom is proximal muscle weakness, followed by decreased or absent reflexes, and then dysautonomia. So three common symptoms are proximal muscle weakness of the leg, adiflexure, and dysautonomia. Because of this lack of ocular bova symptom, which is common in myasthenia gravis, it's often difficult to make a diagnosis because there is a lot of neurological disease which can produce proximal muscle weakness of the leg starting from the brain all the way to the neuropathies. But these days, fortunately, we do have two diagnostic tests which you can use. One is blood test called voltage-gated calcium channel antibody, which is positive 80 to 90 percent of the patient. And then cardinal diagnostic tool is reparative nerve stimulation test that is stimulating the, the nerve and then getting the response from the muscle at the repetitive rate, and s compound muscle action potentials are extremely low. That is the one of the cardinal finds you will see in the EMG laboratory. And then with the minimal exercise, CMAP increase more than two, three times of the, the resting pot the, the amplitude. That is the key in making a diagnosis. And then once diagnosis is made, we have to also look for small cell lung cancer because this disease is commonly associated with the small cell lung cancer. About 50% of the patient have small cell lung cancer. So we have to do some work up for the identifying small cell lung cancer using the, the MRI or the CHS scan of the chest and then the, the, the PET scan.